It's a beautiful day here in Zaki's meadow. The sun is shining, the air is sweet with the smell of blossoming flowers, and the grass is lush and green. Subhanallah! Zaki walked out of his cave into the bright morning sunshine, carrying his fishing rod. Zaki looked up into the sky and frowned slightly. Where's Tufa? he wondered. They had planned to go fishing today, and it wasn't like Tufa to be late for something like this. Kazwa came walking by Zaki's cave and stopped. He saw that Zaki looked very worried. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Is everything all right? Kazwa asked. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. I was just wondering where Tufa is. We're supposed to meet up and go fishing today, but he's not here yet, Zaki added with concern. Wait a minute, said Kazwa excitedly. I see something flying this way. Just then, a little pink bird flew out of the sky and landed on Zaki's outstretched hand. Assalamu alaikum, Tima, said Zaki and Kazwa puzzled. After all, they were expecting Tufa. Wa alaikum assalam, said Tima, puffing slightly. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Tufa is sick and won't be able to go fishing today. Oh no, Zaki and Kazwa sighed. Well, what do we do now? asked Kazwa. It's such a nice day to go fishing. Zaki thought to himself and suddenly brightened up. Looks like you have a plan, Zaki, said Tima. Yes, I do, said Zaki. We should really visit Tufa and cheer him up. Aw, but I wanted to go fishing, Kazwa moaned. Well, we can do both, Zaki said. There's a nice fishing spot near Tufa's tree. That's right, Zaki, said Tima. We can visit Tufa, and if he feels any better, we can all go fishing together. Kazwa cheered with delight, raced off, and returned with his fishing rod. Tufa will be so happy to see you, said Tima. I remember Allah. Assalamu alaikum, children. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. You know, it's very important to visit the sick and let them know that you are thinking of them. My friend Ailem here will be joining us today and reminding us the du'as to say on our journey, as well as offering us great advice. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Wa alaikum assalam. Hey, Ailem. Do you have a special du'a for traveling? I believe I do. Subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrinin wa inna ila rabbina lamunqalibun Which means, glory be to the one, Allah, who has put this vehicle under our control while we were unable to do this ourselves. And certainly to our Lord, we are returning. When the du'a was finished, Alim rolled back up and joined Zaki, Kazwa and Tima on their journey to visit Tufa. After a while, Zaki and his friends came to a clearing on a hill. It was beginning to get windy and dark clouds were forming over the horizon. Oh dear, said Zaki. Don't worry everyone, Alim said. I have a dua that we can all say. Dua for wind. Allahumma inni as'aluka khayraha wa a'udhu bika min sharriha. Which means, O oh Allah, I ask you for its good and I seek protection in you from its evil. Encouraged by the dua, and feeling closer to Allah, Zaki and his friends continued on their journey to visit their sick friend Tufa. The dark clouds appeared in the sky and began to rain on Zaki and his friends. Alim offered them the following du'a. Du'a for rain. 
اللهم صيبا نافعا which means O oh Allah send beneficial rain clouds the rain became heavier as bright bolts of lightning and loud booming thunder filled the sky let's seek shelter said Tima or we'll get sick too they all agreed that was a great idea and ran into the nearby woods where they found a small cave. As they watched the raindrops fall, Alim comforted them with the following dua. Dua for thunder. Subhanalladhi yusabbihu ar-ra'du bihamdihi wal malaikatu min khifati which means glory be to the one Allah who the thunder glorifies his praises as well as the angels in fear of him. Soon, Zaki poked his head out of the cave and saw that the rain had stopped. Tima, Kazwa and Alim all joined Zaki outside and looked around. Alim began to bounce around excitedly. Do you have a dua for us? asked Zaki with a hint of curiosity. I sure do, Alim replied. and offered the following dua dua after rain mutirna bi fadlillah wa rahmati which means it has rained by the bounty of allah and his mercy i love allah he loves allah she loves allah we all love allah he gave us the air that we breathe every day He gave us his land to stay on the right way. Zaki and his friends soon came to a spooky part of the woods called Shadow Valley. Shadow Valley, um, 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 um. Shadow Valley, ooh, 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 ooh. Kazwa's knees began to tremble as strange noises echoed from the shadows. Oh, I don't like this place, not one bit, said Kazwa, jumping into a nearby bush to hide. The creepiest place you would ever see. Zaki urged Kazwa to move on. Come on, Kazwa, if we stick together, we'll be okay, inshallah. Kazwa reluctantly came out from behind the bush and joined Zaki. Tima and Alim on their journey to see Tufa. I was gazing at you from every tree. Shadow Valley, um, 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 um. Shadow Valley, um, 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 um. Um, um, Shadow Valley. Zaki trod carefully, for it was dark and gloomy in Shadow Valley. Suddenly, Saki stopped and found himself near the edge of a ledge. Phew, that was close. Zaki sighed with relief. Unfortunately, Kazwa, who wasn't looking where he was going, bumped into Zaki, sending them both tumbling down. Oh. Oh. Zaki and Kazwa got up dusted themselves off and surprisingly found themselves near a graveyard. Tima and Alim caught up with Zaki and Kazwa and looked at all the graves. Alim offered them the following dua. Dua for visiting graves. السلام عليكم أهل الديار من المؤمنين والمسلمين وإنا إن شاء الله بكم لاحقون نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية which means peace be upon you O people of the graves both the believers and the Muslims and إن شاء الله we will be united with you we ask Allah to grant us all well-being Zaki and his friends continued through the woods of Shadow Valley. Kazwa huddled close behind Zaki, frightened by the strange sounds coming out of the forest. Shadow Valley, um, 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 um. 
Alim popped up and offered the dua for fear. La ilaha illallah, which means there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Zaki and his friends left the gloomy woods of Shadow Valley and came out onto a large hilly field. The clouds suddenly began to part and the sun shined down, bringing the flowers and the trees to life. When we wake up in the morning, when we wake up, we thank Allah for everything we have. Oh, we start the day by praying. Oh, praying for those who may not have what we have. Every day's another oh, day oh, where we get to smile oh, and play. Oh, blessings upon blessings from Him, Allah. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. May peace be upon you, upon you be peace. Oh, 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 we are happy that we're Muslim La ilaha illallah Islam is full of love, it's made for me and you Me and you But we have a job as Muslim Oh Standing up against wrong, that is what we Alim reminded them what to say when you see any of Allah's beautiful creations Subhanallah Which means, how perfect is Allah? As Zaki and his friends enjoyed the sunshine, they heard the adhan coming from the masjid over the hill. It must be time for Zuhur prayer, said Zaki. Great timing. We can perform our Zuhur prayers and make dua for Tufa to get better. When we hear the adhan, we should repeat what the muaddin says. However, when he says, Hayya ala salah or Hayya ala al-falah, then we should say, وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Zaki, Kazwa, and Tima approached the front door to the masjid. Now just remember, said Alim, when entering the masjid with our right foot, we say, بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم افتح لي أبواب رحمتك Which means, in the name of Allah, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his messenger. O oh Allah, open for me the doors of your mercy. Zaki and his friends entered the masjid, prayed zuhur, and made dua for their sick friend Tufa. <laughs> When they were done, Alim met them at the door and said, When leaving the masjid with our left foot, we say, Bismillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik. Which means, In the name of Allah, and may the peace and blessings be upon Allah's messenger. O oh Allah, I ask you for your favor. Zaki and his friends marched on to visit their sick friend Tufa. Meanwhile, Zayn the postman was busy doing his rounds. He looked concerned because he was running late for his delivery. He was hopping along when he came across Zaki and his friends. After they all exchanged greetings, the friends narrated that they were off to visit their sick friend Tufa. Zaki asked Zayn where he was going in such a rush, and he told them that he was worried because he wouldn't have time to deliver a parcel to Harun and Rashid, as they lived in the opposite direction to where he was going. Zaki told him not to worry, they could deliver the parcel because they had to travel past Harun and Rashid to get to Tufa's place. 
Zayn was very pleased to hear this and told him that it would really help him. Zaki said that they loved helping out all their friends, so Zayn handed the package to Zaki. He became quite curious and wondered what the parcel might contain. Zayn told him it was a new book about health and fitness that they had ordered. Hmm, Zaki said. It's good to know they're still keeping fit. We'll deliver it straight away, Zayn. Zayn smiled happily and thanked them once again as he hopped away to finish delivering all the other letters. The friends watched him go, turned, and set off towards Harun and Rashid's place. Let's get fit with Zaki. Let's be active every day. Every day. Let's stay healthy with Zaki. It's so much fun and good for you. Let's get fit. Let's get fit with Zaki. When they finally arrived, Zaki handed the parcel over to them. They both wanted to be the first to open the package to see their new book. Zaki and his friends decided to leave them to work it out themselves, so they carried on with their journey. On the way, Zaki saw Dawood sitting in a tree eating something that looked very tasty. Assalamu alaikum, Dawood, said Zaki. I'm wondering what you're eating. It looks very tasty, and I'm sure Tufa, who is sick, would like to try some. Kazwa's tummy suddenly rumbled loudly. It looks like Kazwa would like to try some too, giggled Tima. Dawood gave them directions to a cluster of berry bushes and waved them goodbye. Zaki and his friends went over to the berry bushes to pick some berries for Tufa, which happened to be one of his favorite fruits. Hey little bird, so way up high, light up the sky with your color design. Tell me who made you and I, me to walk and you to fly. The little bird said, that's my lord, the little bird said, that's my lord, the little bird said, that's my lord, Allah, the creator of us all. Allahu Akbar, our creator, there's no one greater. Then Allah, so why do we stand tall? Too proud to recognize what's right before our eyes. Signs from the Lord. They piled them up into a bucket. After a few attempts, the bucket was full of juicy, plump berries. So they gathered their things and made their way to Tufa's treehouse. Meanwhile, Tufa dozed away in his nest with a thermometer in his mouth. He had been so sick that he couldn't go fishing with his friend Zaki. Suddenly, he began to feel much better and noticed his temperature had gone down. He spat out his thermometer and jumped out of his nest. <coughs> It should be just around the bend, said Tima. Zaki saw Tufa in the distance and waved to him. Tufa's face lit up with joy as he saw all his friends walking towards him. Alim unfurled and said, When we greet each other, we say, Assalamu alaikum which means, peace be upon you. And we reply to them by saying, Wa alaykum as -salam, which means, and peace be upon you too. I'm glad to see you're much better, Zaki said cheerfully. We all pitched in and got you a bucket of your favorite berries to make you feel better. Tufa jumped up and down excitedly. Alim unfurled and said, When we receive a gift, we say to them, Jazakallahu khayran, which means, May Allah reward you with goodness. And we reply to them by saying, Wa iyakum, which means, And to you as well.
Mmm, said Tufa, licking his beak. Me and you. Tufa flew out of the tree and landed on the ground where his friends oh. sat. They all enjoyed the berries together. Oh, oh. Alim unfurled and said, oh, Just oh. remember that before we eat or drink, we must say, Bismillah, which means, in the name of Allah. And we must eat and drink with our right hand. They all munched on the delicious berries, and after they had finished, Alim opened up and recited the following dua. Alhamdulillahi alladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqnihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwwa. Which means, all praise is for Allah, who fed me this and provided it for me without any might or power from myself. Zaki, Kazwa, Tima, Tufa and Alim enjoyed their afternoon together, fishing by the river. They had enjoyed their fun journey, learnt something along the way, and their friend Tufa had become well again. Walhamdulillah. What more could you ask for? I remember, you remember, you remember, we remember, we remember, they remember, they remember. We had such a fun time on our trip to Tufa's house. And the best part is, we learnt so many du'as along the way with my friend Halim. How about we go over these du'as again so we can memorize them, inshallah? I remember Allah. Dua for traveling. Subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha wa ma kunna lahu muqrinin wa inna ila rabbina lamun qalibun which means Glory be to the one, Allah, who has put this vehicle under our control while we were unable to do this ourselves and certainly to our Lord we are returning. Dua for wind Allahumma inni as'aluka khayraha wa a'udhu bika min sharriha which means O oh Allah, I ask you for its good and I seek protection in you from its evil. Dua for thunder Subhanalladhi yusabbihu ar-ra'du bihamdihi wal-mala'ikatu min khifati which means Glory be to the one, Allah, who the thunder glorifies his praises as well as the angels in fear of him. Dua for rain. Allahumma sayyiban nafi'a. Which means, O oh Allah, send beneficial rain clouds. Dua after rain. Mutirna bi fadlillahi wa rahmati. Which means, it has rained by the bounty of Allah and His mercy. Dua for visiting graves. Assalamu alaikum ahla diyari min al mu'minina wal muslimin. Wa inna insha Allahu bikum lahiqun. Nas'alu Allah lana wa lakum al afiya. Which means, Peace be upon you, O people of the graves both the believers and the Muslims. And insha'Allah we will be united with you. We ask Allah to grant us all well-being. Dua for fee. La ilaha illallah. Which means, there is none worthy of worship except Allah. When seeing Allah's beautiful creations, we say, Subhanallah. Which means, how perfect is Allah? When entering the masjid with our right foot, we say, Bismillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi. 
اللهم افتح لي أبواب رحمتك which means in the name of Allah and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his messenger O oh Allah open for me the doors of your mercy when leaving the masjid with our left foot we say بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم إني أسألك من فضلك which means in the name of Allah and may the peace and blessings be upon Allah's messenger O oh Allah I ask you for your favor when we greet one another we say السلام عليكم which means peace be upon you and we reply to them by saying wa alaykum salam which means and peace be upon you too when we receive a gift we say to them jazakallahu khayran which means may allah reward you with goodness and we reply to them by saying wa iyyakum which means and to you as well before we eat or drink, we say Bismillah, which means in the name of Allah. And we must eat and drink with our right hand. Dua after eating. Alhamdulillah alladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqnihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwwa. Which means all praise is for Allah, who fed me this and provided it for me without any might or power from myself. When I wake up in the morning, in the middle of the night, before I go to school, and when I fly my kite, do you remember Allah? Do you remember Allah? Yes, I remember Allah. He remember Allah. They remember Allah. He remembers Allah. She remembers Allah. Before I eat or drink, I remember Allah. Or when I'm getting dressed, I remember Allah. Before I go to sleep, I remember Allah. Or even when I said, Do you remember Allah? Yes, I remember Allah. Do you remember Allah? Yes, I remember Allah. He remember Allah. They remember Allah. He remembers Allah. She remembers Allah. Afghanistan, 
Palestine, Brunei, Thailand, Russia, Bosnia, Portugal, Canada, the whole universe remembers Allah. Thank you.